What is going on everyone? Max here, I got a great video for you today. Today we're talking about the five top discoveries that yours truly made in January of 2023. Needless to say, I've tried a lot of fragrances and the five I'm about to share with you are absolutely stunning gems, guys. So if you love to learn about new things that are up and coming or fragrances that are state making sense, this video is for you. As you know, we do this every year. And at the end of the year, like we did you know, a couple of videos ago, I will share with you the top discoveries of that particular year and the best releases. So let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. Max here. If you love to make a great first impression, smelling good is a great way to do that. We're going to hop into these five discoveries I made in January. And these were standout fragrances that I discovered that I'm so happy to have in my collection and share with you today. We're going to kick things off here with a fragrance from a brand that I spoke to you guys about many times over the last couple of years. It's uh, from a YouTuber, Mr. Smelly77, how you know him. His name is Daniel Naughton, the fragrance brand Naughton & Wilson. This one's Chipre Fuminare. Now, Chipre Fuminare, I love the genre of Chipre. I love Fougere. So right off the bat, I wanted to try this. The bottle, the way it looked, it just looked amazing. It's this brown, you know, amber kind of a juice with uh, bronze and, and brown metal undertones. It looks amazing. Now, the smell is absolutely incredible, and I'm glad to share with you today. Sprayers are beastly. You can control it, how, you know, how have you push the sprayers to release more juice or less. This is an incredible sheeper. That's all there is to it. All the necessary notes to make a great sheeper are contained in this juice. Definitely quality, long lasting. There's a beautiful blast of citrus that, you know, you start off with and you have a, a patchouli kind of a note that envelops the, the fragrance gracefully. Uh, you do have the oak moss, the green part that's necessary to make for a sheepra. So it has, like I said, all the elements for a great sheepra. I compare this to some of the great sheepers that I've smelled over the years, like Mitsuka from Guerlain. This is quality, guys. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Naughton & Wilson is a classy, classy brand. If you like traditional, you know, classy style fragrances that are a little bit more lenient in the mature side and masculine side, guys, check this brand out. It's just very good quality. And like I said, very classy and traditional. If you're looking for a blue scent, so to speak, you know, this blue kind of a note that's very, not so much aquatic or sea-like, but very um, appealing uh, that you find with a lot of blue scents out there, like Blue de Chanel, for example, check out this fragrance from Atelier uh, de Zores. This is going to be called Noir by Night. And this is not gonna be what you're thinking here. You know, Noir by Night means dark or, or black by night. It is a dark scent, but like I said, it has this very likable, you know, blue facet to it. We have notes of caviar here, for example, sandalwood. There's definitely this very woody and citrus kind of a vibe that plays this beautiful dance. The fragrance is one of those very compelling, very attractive and very compliment inducing type of a scent. Love this stuff. This is a very easy to wear kind of a fragrance with a mysterious kind of a undertone to the scent. I think it's that caviar note with some of the other darker notes in here, along with the blue and more appealing notes that makes this yin yang type of a, you know, dance here, which is gonna get you wondering. And it's what I love about it. It's just, it doesn't smell like anything else. It's a very unique scent, Noir by Night from Atelier des Ours. It's likable yet a little bit mysterious. Next up, this discovery really took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting this fragrance to be as good as it became on my skin. So I am in love with the scent. Most likely it's gonna make my top spring of this year coming up soon. This is from the house of Hubigant, which is classy through and through. This is Figuier Noir. Now, when I read about this note and from the name itself, you're thinking dark or black figs. You do get that, but you get so much more. Uh, the actual nose behind this fragrance is Celine Elena, which is the daughter of master perfumer Jean-Claude Elena. So you know this is quality. She's done tremendous work with a lot of different brands out there. And this is one such fragrance, guys. What I get out of this fragrance when I first spray it on, if you know the house of Byredo, which I love, it's like if you mashed Balder Freak from Byredo with Pulp from Byredo, which Pulp has this very ripened green fruits. It's like green fruits and ripened fruits combined. And of course the fig is going to be the highlight here, but you also have some other citrus fruits. But again, there's a vetiver kind of an undertone that takes this rooty and green uh, kind of earthy feel. This is green, it's earthy and it's fruity and it is absolutely intrinsic. It's gonna transport you. I love this stuff. It's, it's one of those fragrances that's gonna get people like, wow, what's that smell? What are you wearing? It's a very special, unique, exotic type of a fig feel here. Loving this stuff. Definitely going to most likely make my top spring of 23 because like I said, I'm in love with this stuff. This next fragrance here comes from the Amouage's new chapter of their Odyssey collection. This is the Escape chapter and the fragrance is Search. Guys, amazing stuff. Easy to summarize this fragrance. It's going to, or it's a very complex scent, but 
to give you a quick summarized version of what this fragrance is about. This is going to be a citrus blast with burning woods in the base. Talking about cade oil, fativer, incense, frankincense. So it's gonna have this very long lasting, burning, smoky, ashy feel to this citrus blast that's gonna stay through whole life of the fragrance. So if you love citrus fragrances, but you wanted a very powerful citrus scent with a smoky, burning, ashy, earthy feel, the stuff screams and it smells just so amazing. As it dries down, I think the initial blast is, it'll turn some people off because of that burning, ashy, smoky, incense -y feel. But as the fragrance warms up on your skin, it just gets better and better. It gets cozier, creamier even. Uh, I think there's sandalwood here also in the base. It just gets very, inviting as the fragrance dries down. That vetiver along with the citrus notes uh, and, and the frankincense, it's really capturing the citrus facet of frankincense, guys. Amazing stuff, extremely powerful, long lasting, as you would expect with the House of Amouage. Very exotic citrus scent right here, guys. Uh, Alexis Grugent was the perfumer and by gosh, he did an outstanding job with this one. Before I give you guys the last choice of the top five best discoveries of January 2023, know that you can try all these fragrances, all of them, and thousands to choose from. From where? You guys know it? Perfume.com, guys. Partner of the channel. You get the fragrance just like I have with a lot of fragrances that I'm going to try to discover and, and find out for myself if I love them. Get a decant, live with it, wear on skin. Make sure you love it before you commit to these full bottles because you know some of these could be very expensive. And I have all details below with codes, the links, making your life easier, which is what we've done here for over a decade on the channel. So enjoy details below, don't miss out. And last but not least, guys, I'm telling you, January was an incredible month. All five fragrances here were just, you know, heart throbbing. We're just, you know, stop on my tracks type of a sense. And this one here is one that really took the cake from the house of Roja Parfums, released late last year, but I just had a chance to pick it up right now in January. This is Manhattan Eau de Parfum. This is a fragrance that describes New York City to the T. It was inspired by New York. We're talking, you know, aspirations. We're talking, you know, the refinement of New York City in the bottle, guys. Simple as that. This gives me a boozy kind of an introduction with a tobacco, spicy, ambery tobacco in the base. Got patchouli, coconut, there are tons of notes. Heliotrope, there's some floral notes. Lavender as well, which I love. So this is definitely androgynous. You're going to love this fragrance, guys. It's, it's one of those fragrances. Love at first sniff right here. Loving this stuff. It's gonna be one that I'm probably gonna put in my rotation for, you know, professional, upscale, refined kind of, uh, you know, wardrobe, you know, leaning towards those kind of dressier, you know, upscale moments. But this is one of one of those fragrances that it's gonna have you at low. The notes here are combined to perfection. Roja does it very well. And the scent here just conveys class, refinement, and upscale kind of a vibe. No two ways about it, guys. Manhattan from Roja, guys. Check this fragrance out. This is just outstanding juice right here. So guys, there you have it. Five incredible discoveries of January 23. Stay tuned for all the different discoveries that I'm gonna be sharing with you in the next few months. So at the end of the year, I'll have the best discoveries and the best releases of 23 altogether. Very massive video that I put for you guys every year. Stay tuned for a lot more. If you do appreciate the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe for more, and of course, wear your fragrances well and wear them proudly. Whatever, if they're expensive, doesn't matter. Just make sure you always and always put your best foot forward. I'll see you guys right back here on the next video very soon. Take care.